right, in this video, this is a preview of the binary clock that I've been working on. This is one form of a binary clock, and this particular clock, we can actually set it to 24 hour time, where your hours go from zero to 23, or in this case, like you see it here, we have it on the 12 hour interval, where we go from one to 12, and we cycle back around to one. The current time right now is 219 and 54 seconds, and let me show you how to read this thing. But I think before I do that, let me show you how quickly we can switch over to 24 hour time. When it's two o'clock in the afternoon, that corresponds, let me cut this on, to 1400 hours if you keep time from zero to 23 hours. I'm gonna switch that back over to 12. And now here's how we read it. So I'm going to pause the clock and I'm gonna put it in test mode. This is going to allow me to explain to you how to read the binary clock. So you have four rows of circles here. And think of this as one, two, four, eight. One, two, four, we don't need an eight. That may make more sense right here in a moment. One, two, four, eight. One, two, four. One, two, four, eight. So look at what's lit up right now. We have 12.01 and 59 seconds. One, two, four, eight. We can easily hide that if we don't want it but that's a way to help you remember one, two, four, eight, and we can also hide the time at the bottom as well. So let's start with the hours over here. This one, we have a circle lit up and it corresponds to the one. This two in 12, we have a single circle lit up that corresponds to the two. Remember, one, two, four, eight. So if we have 12, oh, one, notice nothing is lit up here when we have a zero, perfect. 12, oh, one, we have a one corresponding there. Now how about this five? Well the five, we have the one lit up and the four lit up, and if you add those together, you do get five. How about this nine? We have the one and the eight lit up. One plus eight gives us nine. So maybe if I come back to here, you may wonder, well why are we missing circles here and here? And by the way, you can easily come in here and change all these colors for the hours, the minutes, the seconds, and even the ones that are not lit up. But you know, that's an easy switch. What I wanna make sure you understand is how to read this thing before you apply it to your wallpaper. So why do we not have a circle up here for this eight? You will never have an eight in this spot for the minutes. As high as the minutes go are up to five, right? That's why we don't need an eight up here. Same thing for the seconds. Now, if I do switch over to 24 hour time, you're gonna see an additional circle pop up over here because technically 24 hour time can go up into the 20s. So let me cut my 24 hour time on. Now, the only thing here is if you try to test this, there's so many globals interacting that it may not update live when you're doing the 24 hour time. Now, what do I mean by that? If I cut the test off, everything's gonna be fine. We have a one, and then for the four, we had the four lit up, that's fine. But if you go and test this, let me come down here and adjust the capital H. This is how we can adjust the 24 hour time. I'm gonna bump this up, and as I bump it up to 23, nothing is changing. Just bear in mind, I do have this set to 23. I can get it to refresh if I cut the test off, and then cut the test back on. Now notice what we're showing here in our test mode. Two, that's the two, and then this three, we have the one and the two lit up. So it's still working and it's just there for testing purposes. If you wanna get the live time, go ahead and cut that test off right there and this will be working just fine. I have not had any issues with that. And then if you wanna use the 12 hour time, cut the 24 hour switch off. Now all of this will be covered in a series and I'm definitely hoping it's nowhere near as long as my calendar series, but it is fairly involved and uh, I'll be covering this with you in future videos. If you have a question, leave a comment below and that's it for this video. I hope it helped.